Hello, 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 everybody. Hi, welcome to Eve's Creations Paint Party. My name is Eve, and tonight we're doing galaxy fishing. So this is my uh, painting to give homage to Father's Day. So um, say hello, hello, hello if you're painting with me tonight. You know I like to do roll call. If anyone's painting with you, let me know. Okay, so the, hi, Megna, hi, sweetheart. So let's say hi to the Mr. Butters. Say hi, Mr. Butters, hi. Say hi to your fans. <laughs> You're a good boy, yes you are. So, got that out of the way because you never know when he might be chiming in. Let's go over the weapons this evening. So, I have a bigger boy. He is a one inch flat, so that is big boy. We have Mr. Nifty in the house. Oh yeah, that's right. I have a small round brush. We call him Tiny, because he is tiny. And then there's Mini Me. He looks just like Big Boy, but he's so small. Okay, and then we have Fluffy. I have a large size Fluffy. So he is in the house tonight. And you want to keep a flat brush on the side, nice and dry. All right, so leave one on the side. That's nice and dry for yourself. When you clean your brushes, you're going to swirl, you're going to tap, you're going to dab on your paper towel. Dab in the shape of your brushes. And they want to be wet but not dripping. So say hello, hello, hello. If you're painting with me, hi, Nancy. How you doing, sweetheart? Hello, so I got Magna and I got Nancy. Hi, how you doing? Hello, 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 everybody. I'm gonna put you guys in your handy dandy holder and uh, we're gonna rock this out. All right, guys, so of course, you don't have to paint exactly what I have going on. You know, you can do your own rendition of things. I'm fine with that. This is your painting, this is your creation. So my... Uh, my dad figure is up in the heavens because he passed on a while ago and got my little Spencer pup with him that, you know, I miss him too. And I have myself with butters, of course. <laughs> but you guys can put whatever you want. It's your painting. It's your galaxy. It's your world, right? So why not? Hello. So I am working on a 16 by 20 canvas. I am holding it straight up and down, so it's 16 this way, 20 that way. If you're working on something smaller, just adjust accordingly, right? If I say one hand down or one hand over, you're only going to do a small space. As long as you're in the general area of your canvas that I am in, you are going to be fine. Hello. I can't show you both at once, so take a screenshot if you need to. All right, guys, so take your screenshot to get yourselves ready. I am going to pour my paint. Same paint every single party. Black, white, red, blue, and yellow. Hello, hello, hello. So right now I got Ms. Magna and Ms. Nancy. Hi, guys. Hi. Are you excited? I'm sure you're excited. Hello, 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 everybody. Hello. It's currently 7 p.m. At the moment, it's 64 degrees Fahrenheit, with a low of 59 degrees and high of 67. That's my uh, phone alarm. <laughs> I don't know why that went off. I guess I'm going to have to change that. <laughs> well, if you didn't know, in New Jersey, it's 7 p.m. <laughs> All right, I'm going to pour my paint. Always something, right, guys? Always, always, always something. Starting already. We're starting already. Oh, yeah. Gotta clean that up. Just, uh, I don't know what I did. I moved the pallet and I hit the pump. And when I moved the pallet, I missed the pallet and I pumped white paint right on my floor. 
<laughs> uh, you think, I do this so many times, you think that I would just move my painting pumps so they're above the table more, right? You think I would move them so that they were over the table more and not, uh, not hovering to over the floor. So I got white globs of paint. Ooh, yeah. Making messes. That's what we're doing. That's what we do at each Creations paint party, right? Come together, we paint as a family, we make messes together. We do all of that good stuff. It's all in good fun. It's all in good, good, good fun. Okay, so I hope you got your brushes ready and your paint poured so we can start. So let's start this thing. Let's get started. Oh yeah, the almighty blank canvas. Scary, right? So I hope you guys got your screenshots and you're all fret ready, Freddy Spaghetti, because we're gonna get started. And you're gonna swirl tap that big boy. We're starting off with big boy, people. That's what we're doing. That's what we're doing. Hi, Margaret. How you doing, love? Hi, sweetheart. There's some more people, more people of the fam popping on tonight. That's good. Hello, 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 everybody. Okay, so we're gonna scroll tap that big boy. Oh, and a few more things. I forgot to say, of course, my videos are always kid-friendly, so try to keep that in mind in your comments, and I will try to keep that in mind with my you-know-what's-its. And uh, always, always, always free to watch. Tips are appreciated. PayPal, Venmo, or Cash App. So I will post those links for you. And I hit the wrong button, of course. So... We're going to have to uh, delete that. Let's try that again. <laughs> you know how good I am at hitting buttons, right, guys? Totally works out. Always, always works out. There we go. There's the button. I found the button. <laughs> okay, Margaret. Yep, you guys just hang out. Have fun, right? Hang out with us. It's all good. Totally fine. We can have our watchers, we'll have our creepers, we'll have our painters. Megna and Nancy are here with us tonight, so that's good. Am I early? Maybe I'm a little early. No, it's 7.05. All right, I just didn't want to get started uh, if more people were planning on coming on, but it's after 7, so... Let's do this thing. Oh, yeah. Let's do this. All right. Swirl tap to big boy. Swirl. Nancy and, and Magna, you guys have big boy at home, right? Absolutely. 6,000% you do. All right. You're going to start off with some yellow and some white. A lot of yellow, a little bit of white. And you're going to go, this is your halfway mark. You want to go above halfway. Okay. You want to go above halfway. All right, start on the one side, and we're just doing some yellow. Just doing some yellow, back and forth with the yellow. Nothing crazy. Hi, Diane. Nice, got your Mr. Nifties? Awesome. Hi, sweetheart, how you doing? Thank you, thank you so much for the support. I really appreciate it. It warms my heart. You guys are absolutely amazing. My amazing painting family. And yes, Mr. Nifty definitely comes in handy with this, this painting tonight. That is for sure. For sure. Hi, sweetheart. How you doing? So we're just doing big boy and we're just doing some yellow paint here. That's all we're doing. All right. And once you have that, you're going to uh, grab some red. You're going to grab some red. Just a small amount of red, nothing much, and you're just going to turn around and you put the red on the blank space and then you work it into your yellow. 
So this is your sky. This is your sky. So I'm going to take this red and I'm going to surround I'm going to surround my yellow with the red. Okay? I'm going to surround my yellow with the red. So I want to go all the way around. All the way around. Now, my sunset in my original is a little more orange. I completely covered my yellow with the red to get it to be a little more orange. If you want to keep the yellow bright, that's up to you. That's completely up to you. It's your sky. It's your sunset. So, I made mine more orange, so I covered my yellow. Hi, hi, Cheryl. How you doing, sweetheart? You didn't miss nothing. We didn't do anything. We didn't do anything. I started off with some yellow and white, and I put it in this corner. This is halfway. You want to go a little, uh, you want to go above halfway. And then all I did was grab some red. And I put the red around the yellow and blended it into the yellow. So a little bit of yellow and white in this corner. And then we grab red paint and we're blending it right into the yellow. So that's all we did so far. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. So now I'm just grabbing red paint. I'm just grabbing red paint and I'm putting it all around, moving it up. Moving it up, putting it in on this side, whatever, wherever, All right? And then when you get to about that much space, now you want to grab a little bit of blue, tiniest smidge of blue. And we're going to start putting the blue in. So you put the blue into the blank canvas, and then you just pull it down into your red. That's all. You're just going to pull it down into your red. That's all we're doing. Right? And when we pull it down into the red, that's when our purples come in. That's when our purples show up. Right? So we're just going to put it on here. You put it into the blank space and then pull it down into your red. That's all you need to do. And that's where the purples show up. That's where the purple show up. And just like that, you guys made a sunset sky. Hello, right? I'm telling you. I am telling you that's how that works out. Right? And you just want to smooth back and forth. Blend all those colors together. And the more you go back and forth, the, the more they blend together, the softer your sky is. Right, if you want to turn your brush this way and put some streaks in, you can put some streaks in. It's your sky. Do it any way you want. No big deal. However you want to have it. All right, there you go. There you go. All right. So the next thing we're going to do is we want to turn around and put our horizon line in. So we want this to be fairly, fairly, uh, straight so you're going to turn around you're going to put some blue paint on big boy you're going to hold your brush back here you're going to put it directly onto your canvas right and you're going to go shroom, right across faster you go straighter it'll be hi kelly how you doing sweetheart hi coco you're watching too margaret's watching too kelly so you're not the only watcher we got margaret watching Margaret's watching. Diane's going to be looking forward to Mr. Nifty. Cheryl just popped on. Megna is here. Megna patrol on a roll. So, hello, hello, hello. All right. So, I'm going to take my blue paint. And now that I have that line in there for myself, we're just taking blue paint. And we're just working this back and forth. We're just working this back and forth. And if you want to slowly... Drag your brush across and fix that horizon line a little bit better. You can do that. You can do that. All right. So, as you're grabbing this blue, now you want to start grabbing some black with it. Now you want to start grabbing some black with it, right? So, you're just going to start grabbing some black. I'm going to grab black and blue together. A little bit of black goes a long way. A little bit of black goes a long way, so you're going to be grabbing black and blue. Black and blue. More blue than black. 
Okay, black and blue. That's it. And you're going to fill in the rest of this space with black and blue. Black and blue. Rest of this space. Okay, so we got our watchers. We got our fan watchers going on here. So that's awesome. We already threw in a sunset. Cheryl, I hope you're all caught up. That wasn't too hard, was it? That wasn't too hard. Nope. And now we're just filling in the rest of the canvas with blue and black. That's it. Rest of the canvas. So, I did a galaxy for you guys. What, what? Hello. Right? So, we're going to learn how to paint a galaxy. How awesome is that? Right? There's definitely a few things in painting a galaxy that I'm going to show you tonight because there's a few tricks, a few things going on, some, some nifty little stuff that I got to go over. And, uh, you know, you guys... You guys, you can make your galaxy any way you want, you know. You don't have to follow exactly what my galaxy looks like. I'm going to show you how to do everything. All caught up. Awesome, Cheryl. Good job. Great. Love it. I love it. So, uh, you know, I'm going to show you a few things, and then you guys can fill in your galaxies any way you want to have them. Any way you want to have them. All right? So I know uh, there's definitely, definitely going to be some rogue moments going on here tonight. Definitely going to be some rogue moments. That's what it's all about. Okay, so if you guys finished up your, um, your uh, snail paintings, whoever's working on our petunias, peonies, and uh, pansies painting, um, you know, share that with me because um, I only have like two or three that I'm going to uh, schmooze and post to share, to share your guys' amazing work. So if you didn't send it to me, if you forgot, if you forgot, that's okay. It's okay if you forgot. I forget stuff all the time. I forgot something yesterday that I planned. <laughs> How did that happen? I planned to get together with um, that track artist community I'm part of. I plan to get together for all of us artists to get together and I forgot all about it. Now I'm the one that planned it. But it worked out okay because uh, not that many people were available to go. So it wasn't that bad. But boy, did I have to send apologies out. <laughs> if it's not on my calendar, it's not gonna happen. I'm telling you. I don't know where the brain's going, but it's it's slowly seeping out my ears, I think. <laughs> I know, right, Kelly? I'm telling you. I don't know how I did that. I completely spaced. Completely, completely spaced. But that's okay. Like I said, there wasn't uh there wasn't that many people. In fact, I think it was only one or two that actually uh that actually uh, came together and they wound up having a nice afternoon so that's good they wound up having a nice afternoon but boy did I have to eat some crow on that <laughs> it happens right it happens that's what happens sometimes we forget things sometimes so, we got Megna, Margaret, Cheryl, Kelly's here, Nancy's here, Diane is here. Hello, hello, guys. Hi. Jeez, I, could, I did roll call. I didn't even have to look at the paper. See, so I forgot yesterday, but I remembered you guys. <laughs> All right, so once you're done with that, you're going to put Big Boy in the water. And we want this to still be wet for this step. So you're going to go right ahead and you're going to grab your fluffy. All right now fluffy is just a, a stiff bristly brush. And when you, when you go to dry him on your paper towel, you want to mash him around. So any brush that you have that has bristles going in every direction, you know, and, and if you want to get the same brushes I use, then, you know, they're part of the kit. So... That's my fluffy right there. I'm gonna just mash them around. I'm just gonna mash them around. And we're gonna turn around 
And we're going to grab some white. Don't grab the white with the yellow in it. Grab some fresh white. We're going to grab some white. And we're going to grab some red. And then we're going to go on to our palette here. And we're going to smash, smash, smash. All right, we're going to smash, smash, smash. And do my Ralph Pramden, right? All in here somewhere. Right around here. Right around here. We're going to turn around and we're just going to do swirls. We're going to do swirls. And yes, we want it to blend in. We want it to blend in. And you're just going to do swirls all around. You're just going to do swirls all around. And we want them to blend in. It's all good. It is all good. So we want that to blend into our paint. You're going to wind up with like a purpley, smushy color. And that's fine. That's what we want. And I'm just going here, there, everywhere. It doesn't matter. I don't even think I'm following my original picture here. So that's okay. That's okay, right? Make your galaxy any way you want. And if you notice, I didn't even grab more paint. I'm just still smushing this stuff around. I'm still smushing this stuff around. So we want to put that in. Right, wherever that's going to be. Wherever that's going to be. Here, there. Just going in different directions. Doing different things. Letting it mix into the paint that we just put down. Right, putting these smushy areas in. Just putting these smushy areas in. Just getting them all in there. Getting these circular motions going. Right, that's all. That's all. That's all we're doing. You're still on the ocean, Magna? That's fine. That's fine, hon. That's fine. You know I give you guys time to catch up mustard. So, I didn't grab any more paint. I'm still just swirling. I want this to be nice and soft. I want this nice and soft. Nice and soft. Everything nice and soft. All these swirls and just maybe do a little back and forth moment. Okay, nice and soft. All these swirls in here. Nice and soft. Okay, and then you're going to turn around and you're going to take that dry brush I told you to have. Very lightly. Extremely light. Like hardly touching your canvas at all. You're just going to soften that all out. Extremely, extremely light touch. Extremely, extremely light touch. We're just going to soften that all out. Right? So all we did, all we did is we added some purple tones going on in the backgrounds. Your swirling is probably going to soften all out and disappear, which is fine. That is fine. So we just wanted to soften all that black and blue out. And add some more, some more dimension to it. So very softly, I'm going over all that with the dry brush. And it's going to just make this cloudy area. Hi, Julia. How you doing? You going to do it tomorrow? Okay, great. Great. Hey, we got uh, Kelly's watching. Tell Kel's watching. We got Julia watching. We got Margaret watching. We got, we got a bunch of watchers going on. <laughs> There's a bunch of watchers. There's some creepers out there. I see it. And there's some painters. So that's what we got going on. All right. So I'm going to put Fluffy in the water. I'll give you guys a minute to catch up mustard on that. Catch up mustard. Who wants a hamburger? <laughs> Kelly, I can't say. You ruined me, Kelly. You ruined me. I can't say catch up mustard without saying who wants a hamburger now. You totally ruined me. <laughs> I'm going to do it every single time. <laughs> every single time. So how's everybody's Friday going? It was a rainy Friday here. It was a rain, rainy Friday here. Not too much excitement. My uncle came to visit, so that was nice. We had a nice lunch together, so that was good. That was good. All right, so 
Now that dry brush, I'm just going to turn around and uh, wipe off the excess paint that's on the tip of it, right? So, and my uh, damp paper towel here, because I don't want to turn around and ruin this brush, but I don't want it completely wet. So the dampness on my paper towel, I'm just taking that paint off of the, the tip of it here. See? See that? And I'm just using the damp from the paper towel to do that because I want this brush to still stay dry. Hot and sunny for you. Hot and sunny for you, Margaret. Hot and sunny for you, Cheryl. I got you. I got you. Okay. So, once you have that, and this is getting drier and drier. It's not dry enough yet. So, we're going to turn around and we're going to go... Um, we're gonna go up here, waiting for that to dry. So we're gonna swirl tap that big boy, right? Get all that blue out of them. I'm gonna cheat. I'm, do, I'm rinsing them in my sink. I'm cheating, guys. I'm a cheater. I wanna get all that blue out of them. Get all that blue out of them. That's what I wanna do. A little bit of rain. Hi, Gracie. How you doing in Jersey? Just watch, just watching on a dinner break. Oh, okay, Gracie. Welcome, sweetheart. Welcome to the family. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Got lots of watchers tonight. That's fine. I'm totally cool with that. All right. So I'm gonna take Big Boy and I'm gonna grab my uh, white. And I can grab the white that has the yellow in it. Grab the white that has the yellow in it, right? So, kind of yellowy white, a lot of white. And you're going to come up in here, and you're going to do your cloud, okay? So, we're just going to do parentheses and a parentheses, right? Make these circle motions, because this is a cloud that's not all fluffy. This has, like, very definite edges on it. Right, so we did our uh, first little piece there, and we're going to turn around, and, th and then off of that, you're going to turn around and do another little rounded piece like that, right, fill that in, and it's okay if your background mixes with it, that's totally fine, it's probably better off if it does, now I'm going to do a piece this way, I'm going to do a rounded piece this way, right, and the more you play with it, the bigger it's going to get, so... Just remember that. Okay? Yes, Gracie. So we turn around, we put our black and our blue, and then we took a fluffy brush, and we just added some pink and white in this and softened it all out and added, a, like, another little layer to it. All right? So I'm taking my, my white that has a little bit of yellow in it, and I'm doing that circle. And then I'm going to do another piece here. All right, and I'm holding my brush here. I'm using the flat of the brush. All right, just making these pieces and fill them in. They don't have to be perfect circles. It's a cloud. It's a cloud. And then when you get to about halfway, you want to make smaller pieces. Okay, when you get to halfway, you want to make smaller pieces. Okay, smaller little loops around. All right, guys? And then you're going to end it with a tiny one right on the edge here. Okay? I'm going to end it with a tiny one right on the edge. There we go. Right? And just fill that in. That's just layer one. You know we're going to be doing more layers to this. That's just layer one. That's just layer one. How you doing, Magne? Doing all right? Yeah, so it makes this really, really cool effect. Makes this really cool thing happen. Okay, so. Once you get to that part. We're going to go back to grabbing Fluffy and putting another layer on there. How you doing, my Magna? My Magna Patrol on a roll. How you doing, sweetheart? Doing okay? All right, so I'm going to swirl tap that fluffy again. 
And I'm going to add my, bra my dry brush on deck here. All right, we're going to mash them like we did last time. Mashy, mashy, mashy. Mashy, 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 mashy. All right, and we're going to go back in. And we're going to grab that clean white. And that little bit of red again. And we're going to do a little smush, smush. And we're going to do the same thing we did. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. If you didn't do this initial mushing in there, you don't have to worry about it. You, you don't have to do that part if you don't want to. That's fine. Okay, so we're going to mush, mush. Right? And you're going to do the same thing you did before. But since this is getting more dry, you should get your colors to pop out more. All right? So I'm just holding my brush back here. I'm doing very loosey-goosey. Very loosey goosey, very light touch. All right, and then uh, as I'm spreading it out, I'm going to push a little harder. I'm going to push a little harder. So I just want to push this paint around. Just want to push this paint around. All right, so I'm getting harder and harder. Harder and harder as I'm running out of paint. Just to push it around. Just to push it around, okay? And it's gonna pick up that blue that's underneath, right? So I'm gonna grab some more white and I'm gonna grab some more red. And I'm gonna start off nice and light again. Nice and light, because then when you push, it's gonna blend into the blue, right? So when you push, it's gonna blend into the blue. So you want some of these, these pinker tones. You want some of these pinker tones to stay in there. All right, so I'm grabbing my red and I'm grabbing my white, smushing it into my brush, and I'm gonna wrap this around this way. All right, so right now I'm doing a light touch. Doing a very light touch, very small amount of paint, not much paint at all. And then as I, as I move it around, I'm gonna start pressing harder and harder. Start pressing harder and harder to move it around and get it to blend into my background. Okay, I'm gonna have it blend into my background. And now there's like hardly any paint on my brush at all. And I'm just still smashing this around. There's hardly any paint on my brush at all. And I'm softening the edges out. I'm softening these edges out. Okay. All right, softening those edges out. And then, so this is a thin amount of paint. Don't be globbing it on there because then you're going to get streaks. And then I want to take my dry brush, lightest touch possible, and I'm just going to like wisp upwards. I'm just going to wisp upwards. Okay? Very light, light, light touch. Light, 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 light touch. So I'm just going to wisp upwards like this, doing little arching motions. And then I'm going to very, very, very lightly go across. All right, because we want this soft. Soft, 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 soft. All right, so I am just doing wispy motions and softening all of that paint out. Wispy, wispy, wispy. And we're going to soften it out. Okay, and then you're going to turn around and you're just going to grab a tiniest small amount of white on fluffy, look, minuscule amounts of paint, very light amount of paint, not much paint at all. And I'm going to add a few more in, I'm going to add a few more in, so I'm going to come up here and now I'm mashing hard, I'm mashing really hard. I'm like super mashing this in here. Hear me scrubbing? I'm like scrubbing away. So I'm gonna put one in there. And then I'm gonna soften it out. And I'm gonna grab the smallest amount of white paint again. Tiny amounts, guys, not much paint at all. And I'm gonna come over here. 
Maybe put another little piece there. And I'm super smashing. You can hear my brush on the canvas. You can hear it. See my bristles going everywhere? I'm super smashing this, guys. Super, super smashing. Super, super smashing. I'm going to take my dry brush. Soften it out. Soften it out. I'm going to do another one over here. Right, so you can put them here, there, wherever you want them. You know, I'm kind of just filling in the rest of it with these brighter, softer spots. And don't worry if you went a little nutty, because uh, I'm gonna, the next trick is going to uh, help you get these a little bit more under control. So if you went a little nutty, it's okay. If you have all these big white blobs on your on your uh, on your sky here, that's okay. It's all right, because the next trick is going to help fix it, okay? All right, and now I'm going to grab my, um, some red and some white. So you guys got the process here. Like I said, you guys do your galaxy any way you want. If you like these things, then, you know, you do more of them. If you don't, have less of them. So I'm just going to grab my white and my red again. I'm going to come in here and just do a couple of pops. Just a couple of pops, right? Not a lot of paint, not a lot of paint at all, at all. Hardly any paint at all, okay? And I'm just gonna come in here and do a couple of pops. So basically we're, we're making like, you would do clouds, like fluffy clouds the same way. So that's what we're doing. That's what we're doing. I'm going to take my dry brush and I'm going to very lightly just soften that all out. Soften it all out. And if you hit a spot and it's smearing it, just kind of go in a circular motion like this. So if you hit a spot and it's going to and it's smearing it as you're trying to fluff it, you know, soften it, just kind of go in circular motions. Just go in circular motions. All right, so is this a little tricky? Yeah, it's a little tricky, but that's okay. That's why we're practicing it. And you know what? If there's a spot you messed up, that's okay. You can put a planet right on top of it, and we're, and we're good to go. All right, so now the trick for you guys, if you went a little nutty and you've got big blotches of white somewhere and you're not really feeling it, now we're going to turn around and grab the darker colors. So I'm going to grab my blue, and I'm going to grab my black. Small amounts of paint, everybody. Small, small, small amounts of paint. I'm going to smash it in there a little bit. You know, still keep your dry brush handy. Now, wherever I have, like, a glob, I'm not liking, like, this big piece right here. I'm going to take these darker colors, and I'm going to swirl them in. I'm going to swirl the darker colors in on the edges here and get some of my my puffs under control okay so now we're going to do the darker colors the blue a lot of blue smallest amount of black i want to come in here and i'm doing the same circular motion And I'm just scrubbing in the darker colors now. So if you had a glob and you're like, oh my God, that thing's like just a big old glob and I don't like it at all. <laughs> I don't like it. <laughs> Guess what? Put the darker colors in on top of it and you can get it under control, okay? And we're going to turn around and soften these two. All right? So I'm going to keep playing with this. It's the same process. You guys take this time to catch up mustard. If you have any questions, ask me. I have no problem repeating something. So I'm going to take this time and fill in mine. And you guys can go ahead and finish your lighter smushes. And, and don't stress it because you have the opportunity to, to chill them out if you went a little nutty with your lighter colored smushes. Okay? And I am just taking this blue and black and I'm doing the swirls. 
I'm doing the swirls and then I'm softening them out. Softening them out. That's it. That's the whole process, guys. That's it in a nutshell. That's it in a nutshell. So you guys can do this, this whole process. If you wanted to make a sky that had clouds in it, you could do that. These are like the little Nova, Nova Burst colors, I guess you'd call them, in a galaxy. So you can do that. Like I said, I am just putting these in here. I'm kind of taming my my brighter spots and I'm just softening it out so you know what you practice you try and that's all you can do and no worries no worries because if you have a spot that's not looking that great you can always turn around and put a planet on top of it and no one's gonna notice no one's going to notice. Trust me. No, one th no one's going to pay that close attention to it. <laughs> Unless you point it out to them. <laughs> we like to do that too, right? We point it out to them. You ever notice that? You ever notice that when you fall? Right, guys? When you fall, the first thing you do is look around to see if anybody saw you. Right? And then, if nobody's there that saw you, what's the first thing you do when you see somebody else? Right? You're all embarrassed that you fell. You look around and see if anybody saw you. Right? And the next thing you do is you tell the next person you see that you fell down. <laughs> right? We're crazy like that. We're crazy like that. That's what we are. All right, so I'm just softening these all out. So this is a lot of fun to do. You can do this for hours, right? You can do this for hours, just putting in pups and playing with them. I enjoy it immensely because it's just fun. It's just fun. All right. So you guys take some time to catch up mustard. And now I'm going to put my brush that I was keeping dry the whole time. And we could put him in the water. Because he doesn't have to be dry anymore. And I'm going to put Fluffy away. Alright, so we have roll call. We got Megna is in the house and Nancy's here, Margaret, Diane, Cheryl, Kelly, Julia, and Gracie. Oh yeah. Hello, 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 everybody. So if there's any paint parties you'd like to see, if there's anything that you'd like to see me paint, sometimes you guys suggest things and I already did them. That's why I'm doing the blast from the past. But I have my list here. I have my list of what you guys request. So I write, I definitely write it down and I try to get to it. And if I see uh, some other business that out there that's done that done something, then I just wait. So if you don't see something right away that you wanted to see me paint is because Maybe another business did some sort of rendition of it, and I don't want to piggyback. That's why my business is called Eve's Creations Paint Party, because all of these paintings are my creation, right? Just like all your paintings at home that you're doing right now are your creations. I want, I 6,000% believe that everybody has the power to create. So you guys are amazing. You do amazing. I see your work. It's absolutely phenomenal. <laughs> So, I'm just here to tell you how to do it, right? But this is all you. All you, 6,000%. All right, so I'm going to swirl tap that big boy. And we're going to go back up here to our cloud. I'm going to go back up to our cloud here. Right? So make sure all your blue is out of your brush. And if I'm going too fast, just yell at me. 
Say stop, Eve. There's no stress here, right, guys? No stress. All right, so I'm going to go back up to this guy, and I'm going to grab that white paint, and I'm going to grab a little bit of red, and I'm going to grab a little bit of yellow. All right, nice and pretty on my brush. See all those pretty colors? Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Isn't that beautiful? I think it's beautiful. I'm going to go back up to my cloud here. And I'm just going to fill this in and follow the shape that I followed before. And I'm going to let the brush make the magic happen. So you should get these peachy colors. You should get these peachy colors going on. Right? And I'm just holding my brush nice and close up by the bristles. And I'm pulling it flat and following my original lines. All right? If you go out of your line, you know what I do. You know what I say. If you go out of your line, that's what... uh. So it's fits for. I go out of my lines all the time. All the time. So I'm just filling this in with a pretty peach color. That's all I'm doing. Yellow, red, and white. That's it. Yellow, red, and white. Yellow, red, and white gonna give us our pretty peach tone sit filling this in filling this in so if you guys have any questions for me or anything you'd like to know or you know would like to see we do our how to Tuesdays every Tuesday right we had a lot of fun the last one we had a lot of fun on the last one what did we do for the last one? What did we do this Tuesday? I forget. <laughs> we did something. We did something cool. What did I show you? Oh, eyes and lips. Eyes and lips. That's what we did. Megna, your eye. Guys, did you see it on the event page? Megna's eye that she did. Oh my gosh, Megna. That came out so good. So good. Really, really good. Good stuff. You guys all do amazing. I am, I am uh, humbled every time I look at your work. Every time. And, uh, you know, you might all be at different levels. And, you know, some of you have a little more experience than others. Magnet can blow us all out of the water being 11. You're welcome, lovey. Um, but, Magna has been painting with me since I did maybe my second party. Yes, hi Kim, how you doing love? So Kim is asking me here, she said, is there a, is there a particular spot to see others who've done your paintings from your tutorials? Yes, so I ask everybody to post it to the event page. I put a spot in the event page for everybody to post their work and then on my news feed of my page, I turn around and um, I schmooze everyone's paintings and I do a separate post of it. So if you scroll through my page and you'll see, uh, hey, hey, fam, you guys are amazing stuff. All those paintings that are posted there are of the work of other people. So, all right. So once I have that filled in, I'm going to grab myself some... I'm going to wipe the globs off my brush, not necessarily clean it. I'm going to grab myself the smallest smidge of red. Small smidge of red, guys. I'm going to come up in here, and on the tops of my clouds, I'm going to fill the red in. All right? So the smallest smidge of red I'm, I'm grabbing. And I'm just going to fill in the tops of my clouds. And make the tops of my clouds a little darker. And then you just do a little smush smush. Just do a little smush smush into the rest of your cloud to blend it together. All right? So I'm making the tops of these clouds a little darker. And then I'm just going to do a little smush smush. Very light touch. Just going to do a little smush smush. You can take your finger, 
take your finger and blend that. See that? Finger's the best blending tool ever. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Just make sure you don't have other paint on your fingers. I've done that. You guys ever do that? Right? You got blue paint on your finger and you go to you go to blend something or wipe something off and then all of a sudden the paint that's on your finger gets on your painting. Not where you want it. <laughs> I've done that a few times. That's no fun. <laughs> that's no fun. Alright, so I am making the top of this cloud darker. And I am just blending it into the rest of it. grabbing small amounts of uh, red paint. That's all I'm doing. And then I'm blending it together. And then I'm going to wipe off my brush. I'm going to wipe off my brush. And I'm going to grab my yellow. And I'll make the bottom of the cloud lighter. So I'm grabbing my yellow now. Right? And you just do a couple of swipes here, blend it in, or you can use your finger, like I said. I got blue on my fingers, I'm afraid. I'm afraid because I got blue on my fingers from doing the galaxy thing. <laughs> so I'm afraid. I don't want to get blue into my cloud. <laughs> Alright, so just adding this yellow in. Light, 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 light touch, guys. And if you get a glob... And just push it in. When you get a glob, just push it in. No worries. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. And just like that, you guys painted this awesome sunset cloud. Right? Hello. I'm telling you. Miraculous things that go on here amazing I like it I like it a lot yes I do now I'm lightly just taking my brush and kind of fluffing it around the whole dealio here very light very soft I'm just kind of fluffing it around getting all that stuff to blend together stuff to blend together so I have no idea what I want to do for our next paint party so if you guys uh, have any ideas let me know if I already painted it I'm trying to do this blast from the past for you guys right because some of you are asking me for things that I already did and that's just fine so if you see the blast from the past video and if you're ever painting anything of mine and you're watching the replay and you have any questions, just message me. Just message me. Okay. So, I'm going to turn around and let these uh, big boys uh, kind of soak for a minute here. And I'm going to turn around and grab Mini-Me. I'm going to grab Mini-Me. And I'm going to grab my black paint. And on this side, I'm going to put my dock in. Again, a puppy? Yeah, I have that on my thing. I have, somebody asked me a while back to do like um, a lab puppy. So I was thinking of doing maybe uh, like puppies in a wagon or something. Since uh, <laughs> Nancy wants a Gatsby car and a bowler hat art deco. Okay, that's different. I did do a hat one. I did do a lady in a hat that was um, the bling fling Magna came to. But a fancy car, right? An old Gatsby car. So, like an Art Deco piece. Alright, I did do one, but it was eons ago, right, Magna? Camping piece. Okay, I did do Happy Campers, which was trailers, a fire, a lake. It was uh, very cartoony. Oh, I could do a doggy by a tree. That would work. 
but I can do a more landscapey camping piece. Kim, that would work. And we could do puppies by a tree. That's because you uh, you kill those trees, Magna. You're really good at them now. All right, so I'm taking my black paint. Rest my hand here. I'm going to go a few inches above my water. All right, and I'm going to pull. Notice I moved my hand, not the brush. Faster you pull, straighter will be. Faster you pull, straighter it'll be. Okay, so I'm just using my mini me brush because I like the fact that it's nice and flat. It works just like Big Boy, except he's tiny. And if you notice, I'm moving my hand, not the brush, and you're just gonna pull right out from the side. Bam, pull. Edge it out. Right, and I'm gonna pull these down. Shoop. Shoop. All right, we're just gonna pull these uh, little stems down into our water here. A tree house in a wild flower field with a dog and a child. All right, Kim. <laughs> you guys challenge me, man. I love it. I absolutely love it. <laughs> When you came out with that horse and buggy one, Kim, I was like, oh boy, how the heck am I going to teach that? And then Megna asked me for, uh, she asked me for dragons. She asked me for a rainbow tiger. I'm like, wow. I love it though. Absolutely love it. And it's, and it's not necessarily, you know, it's a challenge to figure out how to paint it, number one. And then it's a challenge to figure it out, figure out how to show you guys. That's because you have great faith in me. Oh, that was sweet. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> All right, so you put your dock in. Woohoo! Hi, Jackie. How you doing, sweetheart? Jackie in the house, and I got your name right. Got your name right. <laughs> Thank you, Kim, so much. I appreciate that. <laughs> How you doing, love? All right, so we have our dock in there. Okay. So, I'm going to show you. <laughs> That's a big old clap, Jackie. All right, I'm going to show you some stuff in our galaxy because this should be dry by now. All right. So, first thing we're going to do is we're going to take out Big Boy. I'm going to swirl tap that Big Boy. You don't have to get him crazy clean. I'm going to grab my uh, white paint here, and I'm grabbing my dirty white. I'm grabbing the white that has the red and the yellow and all that stuff in it. And over on this side, I'm just going to do a half a circle. All right, so I'm going to pull in from the side and swoop it right around. And remember the show me the money to twist your brush, right? Show me the money. Here, show me the money. Do your fingers like this. Put your brush in your fingers, and you can... Roll your, your brush around, right? So, show me the money. Just like that. You put your brush on here. Then move your thumb. Twist your brush around. And bam. You got a semi-circle. Fill it in. Fill it in. Alright. So, that's the only circle we're doing with Big Boy. <laughs> And then I'm gonna grab. I want you to grab some uh, some of your white. And I want you to come into your cloud. If you're putting your any angels in your cloud, I want you to turn around. And I want you to make two two puffs for your angel to sit on. All right. So we're taking the white paint and we're making another circle on top. And I'm just spinning my brush around. That's all I did. And if you, that's all I did. Just spun my brush around. If you want to make the circle with a smaller brush, you can do that. It's all up to you. But I just spun my brush around, and that's going to be my cloud for my puppy. And then I'm going to do another bigger circle here coming off of that. 
And it's a cloud, guys, so if it's not perfectly round, that's fine. That's fine. You guys are fine, all right? So I'm going to put in my other cloud for my other angel to sit on. All right? So I'm just adding another layer of cloud here. All right, so I messed this up. Look at me. I'm still playing with it. Look, I'm playing with it, and it's getting bigger and bigger. <laughs> Told you, the more you play with it, the bigger it gets. Right, using the edge of my brush, spinning it around. Right, filling that in. So those are going to be the two clouds my my angels are sitting on. All right, big boy away. You take out Mini Me or one of your smaller brushes. Scroll tap dab them. Now this is your galaxy. Remember that, so you can do things anywhere you want. I'm going to show you how to paint them, and then, you know, you put whatever you want anywhere you want. doesn't matter, right, guys? Whatever you want, anywhere you want. And we're going to map everything in with our white. Okay? So I'm just grabbing some white paint. And I'm going to show you how to do these things. So, but you can go rogue at any time. It's your galaxy. And if, if you're ahead of the game and you're waiting for me, just start making dots. There's a lot of dots, guys. Lots and lots and lots of dots. Look. That's a lot of dots. See that? See how many dots are in this thing? So if you're uh, you're waiting for me and or and you, whatever, or you're not going to do something, and I'm, I'm teaching that, just start adding dots, guys. Lots and lots and lots of dots in this sucker. <laughs> All right. Mini me. White paint. Make sure you're, uh, you got a clean finger going on. I don't have any clean fingers, but that's okay. <laughs> All right, so we're going to do the blended out star. All right, so I'm going to turn around and do a small amount of paint on my brush. And I'm going to do a circle, a scribble circle. I'm going to bring this out. All right, I'm just doing a scribble circle. And then, once I have that, I'm going to turn around and I'm going to smush it out. So I'm smushing with my finger and softening that all out. Okay? Easy peasy. Right? So there's three of those. There's three of those with all different designs in them. So if there's a part of your little fluffs that you messed up before, that's fine. Put these suckers on top of those. Scribble circle. Smush it out. And you'll get the glow around it. Right? Grab a little more paint. Alright, so. Magna, here's a hack. Take white paint and add lots of water to it. Take your, your big boy and dip it in the mixture... Finger, many droplets there. You have it. Quick, easy stars. Yes, yes. So that, so that's the flicking stars trick. I'm not a flicker. I don't like doing the, the flicks. Some people do. I'm too much of a control freak for that. So if you guys want to do the, the flicks, like, like Magna just said, you just use watered down paint and you can turn around and run your finger across your bristles or you can tap it really hard and it makes it splash on your canvas. So if you want to do the um, the flicky dots, go for it. I'm not a fan. So I put every single dot in by hand. <laughs> but that's up to you. All right, so another scribble circle, right? So I'm just doing a scribble circle. All right, taking my finger, blending it out. Blending it out. Okay. Grab some white paint. Now, this is the, the solar flare piece, right? So, it's over here on this side of the canvas. So, I'm going to just do uh, parentheses and apprentices. Make myself a circle. And this one, we're not blending out. So, just do apprentices and apprentices. Parentheses and apprentices, and then you take your brush, use the flat of your brush, 
you know, fix your circle accordingly. Start off small because the more you play with it, the bigger it's going to get. All right, and I'm going to add in a few more circles here, here and there, and they're going to be my planets. They're going to be my little planets, right? So I'm just going to add circles here and there. And we're not going to blend these out. We're going to color them in. So I'm just going to add some circles here and there. Just for my different planets. Alright, start off small because you're going to play with it trying to make it perfect. And then it's going to get bigger and bigger. So you want to start off small. Okay, guys? And you just put them wherever you want. And we're going to color them in different colors. I'm going to show you how to color them in and shade them. I'm going to show you. And Diane's got her Mr. Nifty there. So that he's going to come in handy since some of this stuff is teeny tiny. We're just putting these circles in for now. Wherever you want your planets to be. Okay? Wherever you want them to be and however big you want them to be. It's up to you. It's totally up to you. Alright, so once you have that, I'm going to take out uh, Tiny. And I'm going to tell you about the dots. And some of you are going to go rogue with your dots. Now, the dots are going to turn around. And your dots should be different colors. So you want to do light blue, uh, darker blue, a white and they should be in clusters and it feels really really weird like i want to give them all this like perfect spatial stuff and um that's not how they work that's not how they work guys so you want to turn around and you want to have different colors and i actually did straight black and blue ones in my lighter parts so I'm going to turn around, and you want to do these in clusters. So I grab some white paint, and I'm putting a little blue on that. All right, so you want, like, two different types of blue and some white. And when you do your dots, you want to do it in clusters, okay? So you want to do, like, can't see that. All right, so you want to put them in clusters, let me move you guys up so you can see what I'm doing. See that? See those dots all in a cluster right there? And that's the light blue ones. And now I'm going to dip my brush into white. And I'm going to put some white ones in there. Right? And then you can do some spread out. Right? But you want these little clusters of dots. Okay? And then over here, somewhere I did like a swirl. So I'll show you how to do the swirl. So the swirl, we're swirling people, swirling it around. So the swirl, what I did was I turned around and I randomly put dots in and I did this just a little hint of a swirl going around. Okay, and then what I did was I, I um, then I just put, I filled it in with more stars, keeping that swirl. All right, so I just filled it in with more stars, keeping the swirl. Okay, and as you, um, as you fill this in with more stars, you're going to see that you're going to get a swirl. So you just want to cluster them together in that swirl shape. You want to cluster them together. So if you notice now, these stars are making... A swirl that's how you do the swirls okay guys easy peasy lemon squeezy 
and then you just fill in stars around it but like very not a lot you know you just kind of put like some star a star here star there star here star there star everywhere so when you fill in the stars around it you just want to make sure that you're not turning around and messing up the swirl effect and you can just keep doing this so there's a couple of different swirls in this painting and that's how you do the swirls so you just map yourself out a swirl shape and then fill in dots really close together following that pattern all right easy peasy and then you just dot them in so i'm gonna and um like i said you want these to have clusters so if you have um you know say the star over here you want to turn around and maybe like have it do like a little curve like that or maybe you want to do like one that's making a straight line okay and it feels very very strange if you're an ocd spatial person but that's how you make it look like stars <laughs> that's how you make it look like stars okay guys so that's the swirl of stars your stars should be like three different colors on my lighter parts where these little solar clouds are i actually turn around and i put um black and blue ones right because we're going to see the shadow of them so i put black and blue dots in here okay so you can put those in on your lighter parts of your solar system All right wherever you want them to be so i did some black and i did some blue ones and again you want a cluster you want to have a clusters you know you want some that are all spread out but then you want some that are clusters okay so i put the uh, darker ones in the lighter area here and i'm just kind of i'm just dotting that's all i'm doing i'm just dotting all right so if you're not going to do a splatter like magna suggested and you're more of a control freak like i am that's how you make the stars so if any point of me showing you something and this gets like you want to do something else just start making dots lots and lots of dots all right so we're going to turn around and those fluff parts that we did all right i'm going to grab just plain white paint with tiny and the one design up oh, i just i just smushed my star you see that <laughs> that's what spits for there we go so the one design is um gonna make an x gonna make an x and then you're gonna curve the inside of your x and curve the inside of this x all right so curve the inside edges and then i did little pieces right here And then I did line shoop, 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 shoop. Okay, so that was the one design in the fluffies. And the other design in the fluffies, this fluffy, um, this fluffy down here, earthquake, <laughs> earthquake. So this fluffy right here, I did a, I just did a swirl around. So you can do this with tiny i'm gonna grab mr nifty so if anybody wants a mr nifty i send them out free for anyone who sent support so that's how you get your hands on a mr nifty so this this design and this fluff was just a swirl around so i just did a swirl and then i did little dash pieces around it okay so that was the other one and then the last fluff is up over here I'm turn around and i did my my x my plus sign all 
and then I did a cross through that plus sign and then in each little space I did a dash so you can make as many of these as you want in your galaxy those are a lot of fun so that's how I did those all right, so I just wanted to show you some pieces in the galaxy in case you, uh, you know, you want to go ahead and start filling some stuff in for yourself as, uh, as I'm instructing here if you're ahead of the game or whatever you might be. So there is some instruction on those parts so you can do that accordingly. All right, so down here, this was the solar flare circle. So you're going to turn around. And I'm gonna take um, I'm gonna take tiny. Now, if you have a beat up tiny, use the beat up tiny because you really don't want to be coloring in with your tinies. You're gonna ruin your point. But I'm gonna take tiny and I'm gonna fill this in. And I'm gonna grab my yellow and my red and my little bit of white. And I'm just gonna fill this in. All right, so I'm using tiny. I'm using a beat up tiny because if you go and, and color stuff in with your tinies, you're going to turn around and ruin your point. That's why I get mini me's. That's why I get the small, small flat brushes. That's why I get those because uh, you don't want to ruin the points on your tinies. This one's already toast. It's already like it's over. So, I'm going to fill that in for myself because I have to add extra parts to it. And now I'm going to take my, I'm not going to clean my brush off, but I'm going to take my white paint. And we're going to swoop, guys. You know how I love to swoop, so we're going to swoop, ready? I'm going to go out from the side of this, and I'm going to go swoop, just like that. And I'm going to fill in all of these swoops, going in that direction. So I'm just grabbing some white paint with my dirty brush and I'm filling in all these swoops. So you can make this as big or as small as you want. And I am just arching my hand and I'm doing all these swooping motions. And then I'm going to come out from the other side and do it the other way. I'm going to do it the other way. All right, so these are fun. I love doing these. So you can grab your dirty white that has your red and your yellow and everything else in it. That's fine. And I'm just swooping these the other way. You notice I'm just giving a flick to finish it off. I'm just giving it like a little flick. This way you get the uh, the spiky pieces. All right, and it's just a little flick with my hand. Swoop, like that. So swoop, swoop, swoop. All right, and then this solar flare had another piece coming out up here. So I'm going to add that in. I'm going to add that in. All right? So doing a galaxy is a lot of fun. There's so many different pieces and parts and so many fun things you can do. There's kind of like no rules, really. You can just add all these shapes and designs and different colors and whatever you want to do. It's, it's, pretty, uh, it's pretty awesome, if you ask me. You can have all these things that you can do. And I'm just going to smooth this out because I went over the edges here with my swoops. So I'm just going to soften this out, get my circle back in. And then as I do that, I'm going to grab some of my red paint. Small, small amount of red paint, guys. And I'm going to come in here and I'm going to make the one edge darker. And I'm just zigzagging zoom. You know how many times I showed you how to shade stuff? All right, so I'm just zigzagging, zooming. And I'm going to make the one edge a little darker. And then I'm going to grab my yellow paint and make the other side a little lighter. So that's how you shade your, your planets. Okay, you put a base color. And then you add, grab some dark and you make the one side darker. And then you grab some light, make the other side lighter, and just zigzag a zoom and smush it all together. So that's how you shade your planets, okay, guys? 
So I'll show you another one. I'll show you another one. So I'm going to swirl tap that uh, tiny. Now this is a little bit better of a tiny because I'm going to be doing a tiny over here. So say you want to do, um, say you want to do the um, purple planet. Okay. I'm going to turn around and I'm going to do blue. And I'm going to grab some red. And I'm going to add some white to it. And I'm just going to give myself a base light purple color. And I'm going to come in here and I'm going to color this in. I'm going to color this in just the one base color. Alright, so you're going to color it in your one basic color right here. And then, let me get a better, let me make this more of a circle. That's why I told you to start off small, guys, right? Look how big this planet got on me. Because <laughs> I'm trying to make it more and more of a circle. <laughs> Look how big he got. <laughs> All right. So now, that being done, I'm going to grab uh, just some blue. Microscopic amount of paint. Microscopic. Grab some blue. I'm going to come in here and I'm going to zigzag a zoom. With just the blue only on the one side okay and then I'm going to grab that purple that I made and I'm going to add some uh, some more white to it to get a lighter 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 purple and I'm going to come in on the other side and put the lighter purple. I need it to be a little lighter, so I'm just going to dip my brush in a white. A little lighter. Right? And I'm going to come on the other side of the planet. And I'm just lightly putting this in on an arch. Right? So I'm going to do the other side. And I'm going to wipe my brush off. I'm going to wipe my brush off. And I'm just going to go back and forth between the two colors for the middle. Okay? And there you go. There is a planet with some shading. Now, if you, you know, you know how we roll. You know, sometimes we go too fun with one thing and... We lose the dark or we lose the light, whatever. So, you know, you can put it back in if you need to. If you want a little more drastic of change going on. So, I just grab some more blue paint here. Put it on that side. And you don't have to blend it because planets have, like, you know, craters and all that stuff. So, you can leave it like that and it looks perfectly fine. Or you can just go back and forth where the two colors meet. Light touch. I'm just going back and forth, wiggling my brush. And I'm going to soften it all out. Okay. Now, I'm going to grab some white paint. And I'm going to do my ring. So this is how you do a ring around your planet. Okay. Ring around the rosy. Ring around the rosy. Planet rings. I'm going to come out from the side. And I'll come out from this side. And then I'm going to loop it around. Shoop. And that's how you make the ring around your planet. Just like that. All right? So play with that for a minute. Right? Totally awesome. Perfect. You guys got this. Magna and Nancy and Margaret, Diane, Roll Call, Cheryl, Kelly, Julia, Gracie, Kim, and Jackie. You guys can do all these little details. They're so much fun. They're easy to do. And you can fill in your whole planet, your whole galaxy accordingly. And when you're done, it looks amazing. All right, so we're going to go back up top. I'm going to show you how to do your profiles, finish the details on top, and then I'm going to turn around and show you how to do the, the solar flare. And then we're going to finish up just doing a little more details in our galaxy. If there's anything you want to see, 
you know, make sure you ask me when we get to just playing around with our galaxy, and I will 6,000% show you. All right, so I'm going to bring it back up top, and I'm going to turn around and um, fill in my, my cloud. I'm going to fill in my cloud pups that I made for my angel to sit on. All right, so I'm going to grab my uh, big boy. And you want to fill this in so it's different color from the other clouds, okay? So you can see it. So if you want, if you go lighter, you can go lighter. Or if your clouds are really, really light, you can go darker. Whatever you need to do so you can see it. Okay, so you want it to pop out from the other one. So I'm grabbing some, a lot of red. I want to go darker. So I'm going to grab a lot of red and a little bit of yellow. And I'm just going to fill this in. So I'm going to go darker so I can see it. On the original, I think I went lighter. Which, same thing. If you're going lighter, just grab a lot of yellow and a lot of white. That's all. That's all you need to do. Okay? So, whatever you need to do, you just want to make sure that you can see these. You can see these separate from the original cloud that you made. So I'm going to fill that in with Big Boy, and then I'm going to grab my Mini Me. <laughs> I'm going to behave. I'm going to try. I'm not going to do it all with Big Boy because you know me. I go out of my lines, and I don't want these to get any bigger. <laughs> so it's all right. You got to know your limitations sometimes, right? So I'm going to turn around. I filled the most of it up with Big Boy, but now I'm going to grab Mini Me. And I'm going to do my, my edges with Mini-Me because uh, I know myself. And I will not color in these lines. And I'm just doing like a little swish back and forth here. Same we did with the planet. I, I already know myself. I know that I do not color in the lines. So I'm going to behave. If you get any globs, just push them into your shape. Just push them into your shape. All you need to do. Okay. Smush this around a little bit. Grab some more of my mostly red paint here. And I'm going to drag this around. So is anybody doing anything good for Father's Day? Magna, what are you doing with your dad? Magna's dad is awesome, by the way. I met him. So shout out to your dad, Magna. Is anybody doing anything cool for Father's Day? I did uh, I did us fishing. We used to go fishing a lot. We went camping. My dad liked all that stuff. So um, there you go. And then since you have those colors on your brush, you can come down to your solar flare here. And just start adding the colors in. So yellow and red. And I'm just going to turn around and add to my flicks here. I'm just throwing some color in there. It's not my final colors. I'm just throwing some colors in there. That's all I'm doing. Just throwing some color in there, right, that I can work off of. And since my brush is dirty with the colors that I want it to be, I might as well come down here and... Throw some in there. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. I'm just going to throw some colors in here. So when I come back in and do the final, final touches, I already have some base color going on in there. You don't know what you're doing for Father's Day? You guys will figure it out. Okay. Okay. So, we're going to start with our person on the dock. Sitting on the dock of the bay, wasting time. <laughs> Anybody know that song? I'm dating myself with that song. That's for sure. So, I'm going to start with Mr. Nifty. Because we're going to be using straight up black paint. And there's no forgiveness if you screw up. So... Hopefully your son's going to barbecue, Margaret. That sounds delicious. 
I went to the store and I bought all this stuff for barbecue and I bought hot dogs, I bought um, some chops. I bought some hamburgers. Yes, Otis Redding. <laughs> All right, Cheryl. Good looks. Good luck, sweetheart. You're always on point with this kind of stuff. You're like my little uh, my little encyclopedia. <laughs> my uh, part of my the, the fam encyclopedia. Okay, so right on the edge here. I'm gonna do a line. We're going to do a line right on the edge there, okay? So we're going to start off with lines, and then we're going to fill them in as thickness happens, all right? Because we're sitting on the, the dock of the bay here, all right? And I'm going to do another line wrapping it around this way. All right, so we're going to start this with small little lines, and then we're going to fill in the thickness once we're done, once we get our shape. All right, now I'm going to do a line upwards. Okay, I'm going to do a line upwards like that. I know. Hey, I know the song. <laughs> I know the song. It's hard to believe. I listen to these songs, and then I see what year they came out, and they're 30, 30 years old, 40 years old, 50 years old. I'm like, jeez. telling you. All right, once you do that line up, you're going to do a, you're going to do a mini circle. All right, so you want these, you want these proportioned, right, guys? So little mini line here. This line should be just as long as that one. This one should be a little longer. Okay, we're gonna do a little circle here for the head of my person. And then I'm gonna turn around, I'm gonna leave some neck. I don't think I left any neck on the original. And we're going to come out from here. All right. Put in a squiggly line because it's a girl. So she's got a little bit of a donk -a donk going on. Fill that in. Right, so as you're doing this, you want to just keep looking at it and making sure it's all proportional. All right, you don't want a tiny little head and a big body. I'm going to fill this in. Whoa, I gave her a big old badonka donk. Okay, so I got to portion that out. So if you wind up painting and you make something bigger than you want it, just proportion it out. You just make all the other pieces bigger, that's all. It's all good. It's all good. All right, now I'm going to come and bring this piece down here. And then I'm going to make the legs thicker. I'm going to make the legs thicker. Okay. And then we're going to add the feet. Okay, so small little, small little brush strokes, small little changes at a time. Ha <laughs> ha, that's right. That's another good song, Kim. <laughs> that's another good song. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to put my little hat. So when you do these little profiles, you want to turn around and do small pieces at a time, small little lines. Small little fill in, so I'm going to put a, a straight line coming off of her head and do a loop around for her hat. So, you know, small little fill ins, you know, tiny, tiny, tiny little changes here and there. So, you don't wind up having something be too large or too small, 
And then there's a little nose coming off of here. Okay, so small, small, small little things. Let me see if I can bring you guys any closer. Earthquake! All right, so small, small, small little things you want to do. Okay, so the fishing pole. I'm going to move my hand, not the brush. I got black paint on here. I want to make sure it's nice and loose and thin and not globby. And I'm going to turn around and I'm going to come from right over here. Not, not down right here, just up a little right to where like the chest would be. And my hand, not the brush. And pull. Okay, hand, not the brush, and pull. And then, there's little circles on it. So I'm going to put these little circles in. Okay, little circles on it. And then you're going to put a piece coming out this way. And then a thicker square. And then you're going to put a wider piece on top of that. That's like the little spinner thing. You're going to put a wider piece on that, okay? Make sure you're wiping your brush off in between, giving it a little swirl tap dab, getting all the globs off of it. Make sure your paint is nice and thin and loose. All right? So then you're going to move your hand, not the brush. You're going to go from the tip of your pole and draw a, a line going right into your water. Okay? Okay? Move your hand, not the brush. And then once it hits the water, you're going to drop it down. Drop a straight line down. And then I'm just going to put a shadow of an arm. Connect them to the pole. Okay, so I'm just doing a shadow of an arm. I'm just filling this all in black. We don't really know what's going on here. It's just a little shadow of an arm connecting to the pole. Right, and if you're doing a puppy, of course my puppy is Butters. A lot of Butters. Right, you want to do a teardrop shape. Do a little teardrop shape. I'm going to do a line down from the teardrop shape. Do another line from the teardrop shape. Do two front little paws. And then do my ears, two little points. And my tail. All right, so small little pieces here, guys, small little pieces. And then I'm gonna do my bucket. Do my bucket to hold my my fish, my stars in it. Okay. Now I'm gonna do the angels. Move you over. Let's do the angels. If you guys are doing angels, I'm not really sure. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna do the angel. Okay, and he's sitting up on this cloud. 
So I'm going to do a line out like this and down. I'm going to do a line out like this and down. And then I'm going to swoop this around and bring it up. Okay, I'm going to do my head in the middle of that. Let me uh, lift this thing up because there's a shadow on here. There you go. Now you guys can see what I'm doing. Okay, I'm going to draw my shoulders, do my little neck, paint my shoulders in here, paint in my shoulders, Put an arm piece out this way. Put an arm piece coming down this way. And then going into the body. All right, so small little pieces, guys. Small little pieces, little adjustments at a time. Make sure you're staying proportional. I'm going to put this arm piece going into the body. All right, make sure you're keeping everything just, to, you know. And if you wind up with one piece and it's big, then you're just going to have to turn around and make all your other pieces bigger. That's all there is to it. That's what you're going to have to do. Right, and then I'm going to paint in this leg, thicker, and my dad was very tall, so I gave him really long legs. Okay, and then we're going to turn around and paint this leg piece in. Right, bring this down. Okay, so whenever you're doing any of these black profiles, anything, whatever shape you're doing, if it's people, if it's animals, if it's anything, you want to do small little adjustments and making your lines thicker here and there. And you just have to make sure that everything stays proportional. Okay, guys, I'm going to do my feet. Just want to make sure it all stays proportional. And by proportional, you know, it has to match up. See, so notice this part of my leg is a little longer than this part of my leg. And the, the body piece is longer than the two of them. And my head's the right size for whatever body I made. So what you have to make, you know, you got to check those things out and you just do little, little adjustments, right? Now I'm going to do a little hat piece here. Okay, and I'm going to wipe off my brush. And coming out from where the two arms meet, I'm going to move my hand, not the brush. Do my fishing pole. And then I'm going to drop my line right down. Straight down, right? Shroom. Straight down. Make sure your paint's nice and thin and loose. Move your hand, not the brush. Go straight down. 
And then if you have to fill it in here and there, then you just go back in small amounts of paint, fill it in and make it darker. So straight down. All right, cleaning off my brush, getting all the globs. I'm going to do my other puppy now. Okay, so again, we're going to do a diagonal line. And then we're going to wrap this line around, make the little puppy badonka donk going on there. All right, fill this in a little bit. Fill it in a little bit. Just a little bit, just a little bit at a time put my paw coming out put my my front legs here right do another front leg here right now i'm going to pull this up Again, another teardrop shape, but not a point because he has a round snout. Then the hint of his floppy ear on this side. And his tail. And then I put a couple little fluff fluffs on the tail there. Okay, so small little adjustments here and there. And get your pieces in. Okay, so I'm going to show you the water lines. And then I'm going to show you the angel wings. And you guys are so amazing. Look at that. You totally uh, painted a galaxy and, and angels fishing and all that good stuff and you know may remind you of your, of your pop a little bit here you know i'm just gonna add in uh i'm gonna add in on my dog a little uh sorry camera movement yeah i'm gonna add in on my dog a little rounded piece right here like his thigh okay so i just added that in all right so all right we're gonna clean this brush off because we gotta do our water lines Gonna clean this off, get all the black out of them. So you guys are all amazing. We have Megna and Nancy, Margaret, Diane, Cheryl, Kelly, Julia, Gracie, Kim, and Jackie in the house. Oh yeah! <laughs> Bumbo! <laughs> That's because I didn't have my top piece securing it anymore. <laughs> Talk about getting a close up, guys. Cheese and crackers. Talk about getting a close-up. So, you guys know it's always free to watch. Tips are appreciated. My links are going to be in the comments. I'm going to make a space on the event page to share your final paintings. Replays are always, always available. I'm going to put the YouTube link in as long as it works pretty well. All right, white paint. I'm going to go where my uh, dock is hitting the water here. I'm going to do a uh, come out from the side, wrap it around. Out from this side, wrap it around. And then on either edge, I'm going to just add little, little small pieces in. Just little small pieces, and they don't have to be all connecting. You can just have little pieces go in here. Just going in a circular motion, that's all. All right, I'm going to put in my other piece right here. Just like that. Wrap this around. Put a couple of dashes that are curved. Now, if you're going to do the dashes, make sure everything's kind of got a curve to it. Okay, wipe off my brush, get all the globs, grab some more paint where my fishing lines are hitting the water. Gonna do another little circle, another little circle. 
I'm going to wrap this around. Add the little piece in between them. So, you know, you don't want to go over your, your lines. Make sure that, that you're doing your curves. You can go over your fishing line in the front, but not in the back. Okay, so in the back, make sure you're leaving those lines in there. You're going around them, but in the front, you cross over them, okay? Clean off my brush. Add all the stars that we're catching, because we're, you know, this is dreams, so we're going to catch a lot of fish. <laughs> stars are easy. They're plus signs with an X through them. Plus signs with an X through them. That's all they are. Plus signs with an X through them. Plus sign and an X. That's it. So I'm adding all these in here. All right? Because they're all just coming right to our fishing lines. You know? So this is all a dream world. So in my dreams, we're catching lots and lots of fish. That is for sure. And I'm going to go up to my bucket. Put mine in my bucket. So, put some in my bucket. Alright. Now, I'm going to go back up to our angel. I'm going to add our angel wings. gonna add our angel wings so you want to turn around and we're gonna play with white and blue so I'm gonna grab my white paint and right from the shoulders I'm gonna arch up swoop I'm gonna arch up from this shoulder swoop just like that I'm gonna grab my white paint with some blue on it and I'm just gonna do little flicks guys just little flicks shorter on top longer as I come around okay white and blue paint that's it white and blue paint white and blue that's it okay if there's ever a finished piece of artwork that you guys really really like you know the paintings I show you in the beginning the model painting um, those are all for sale. Just, you know, you can reach out to me, message me, ask me how much, and uh, I can always customize something. So if there's ever a painting you see me doing and you want the original Eve's Creations painting, you could turn around and uh, just contact me and we could go over the details. So I just want to let you know that they're all for sale. So I'm just doing white and blue, and now I'm grabbing some white. I'm just putting some white flicks in there. I'm just grabbing some white, putting some white flicks in there now. I'm just flick a flicking, guys. You know how to flick a flick. You know how to flick a flick. Nothing hard about flick a flicking. And I gotta put my wings on my puppy. Alright, so I'm gonna come out from his back, put one there. And then I'm gonna come out from the top of his head and put this one like that. And again, just doing flicka flickas. Flicka flicka flicka, that's it. We're just flicking. We're just flicking. I'm going to grab some blue and white now. Do some more flicking. Flicka flicka flicka. Shorter at the point, longer as you work your way down. Longer as you work your way down. Wipe my brush off, grab some white paint, put some special little white flicks in there, and there you go. So there's your people fishing, and your angels fishing, and all of that good stuff. So I have one thing that I have to have to show you, and then if there's anything else you'd like to see... Um, let me know and I can show you if there's any part of the galaxy that you're not sure of that you want me to show you how to paint. So I'm going to show you the, sh the solar flare thing. 
I'm going to get out. Don't leave Nifty in the water. Just swirl tap dab him and clean him and put him on the side. He doesn't like sitting in the water. So I'm going to take my tiny, my small round brush, and I'm going to grab some white paint with some yellow in it. And I'm going to put my, my bands around this thing, right? So we have one coming out from the side, looping right up, disappearing back here. Okay, we have another one coming out, looping out this way, disappearing back here. Okay, so I'm just doing white and yellow. White and yellow paint, a lot of white, a little bit of yellow. All right, wiping off my brush, making sure there's still a nice point on here. We got a band going around the whole thing. Okay, so, and then we have some more coming out here. got another piece coming out here and there is your flare parts and now I'm just gonna grab my uh, red paint with a smidge of yellow so red a lot of red a little bit of white some yellow and we're just going to put the flicks in here to finish out our flare all right so I'm just adding my last layer of colors in here to finish out the solar flare. All right. And then I'm grabbing a lot of red and a little bit of yellow. And I'm going to do, make this one back here, the darker reddish color. Filling this in just with flicks of color. That's all I'm doing. Now I'm going to grab more yellow. Do the one in front of it. Do the one in front of it. All right, add my yellow paint in here. And I'm letting the magic of the brush happen. I have all these colors kind of working in here. And I'm just grabbing extra one color, but I'm letting the brush magic happen. I'm just grabbing yellow paint here and doing these more yellow on the top part of this flare on this side. So I have all these colors in my brush. I, I didn't clean it. I didn't clean it. I'm just grabbing one color to be the most that's on the brush, the predominant color, but then I'm letting the magic happen out of my paintbrush. So I'm just grabbing more yellow and putting this in here. Okay, and then that is your solar flare. How cool is that, right? That was pretty awesome. That was pretty easy peasy lemon squeezy. And if you forgot how to uh, shade your planets, I'll do the big sucker. And Nancy's writing me here. What are you saying to me, Nancy? Gone fishing in a French cafe. Oh, like Van Gogh's cafe? One of those? Nice. All right. So I'm going to grab Big Boy. I'm going to come over to our big planet. And I'm working with the same colors, yellow and red. Yellow and red. And I'm just going to put those in there. All right, nice and slow around my edge. Swoop that right around. And if I grab, I grabbed extra red here, so I'm going to add some more yellow to it. If you grabbed extra yellow, Add more red to it. You know how this is now. You guys got this. You guys are shading planets and doing all these amazing things. Making your own solar system. I'm not going to turn around and over, over teach you all these little pieces. I already showed you how to create them all. And now you can create them on your own. It's the same process, just doing it a few times. So I'm going to grab some extra yellow here. And I'm going to put the yellow in. And I'm just flicking. I'm just flicking. And I'm leaving my, my edge nice and dark. All right. And I'm just flicking the yellow paint on here. That's all I'm doing. 
See? So if you made it extra yellow, you want to do the red paint on the outer edge. If you made it extra extra red like I did, you just want to do the yellow paint in the middle. And uh, now I'm just brushing over it and blending it all together nice and soft and light. And there's your big red planet. So I'm telling you, I don't make this stuff up. This stuff isn't that hard at all. At all. So, if there's anything else to this painting you want me to show you how to do, I think I pretty much showed you how to create every single piece of this painting. Now, it's your galaxy. It's your planet. You guys can, uh, what do I always tell you? Have fun and go create, right? Absolutely. 6,000%. So, I'm just going to grab Tiny with my white paint and put my... Um, my uh, stars up here that my my angel daddy caught so I'm gonna put my stars up here for angel daddy going on right and they're just crosses and, and X's that's it crosses and X's so thank you thank you thank you guys so much for joining me tonight and I really had a blast. You know, I love painting with you all. If you're catching the replay and have any questions, just ask me. Just send me a message, guys, and I'll answer it as soon as I see it. It is always, always free to watch. Tips are appreciated. If you send me support, I will send you some Mr. Nifties. I got some going out this weekend, and um, I just want you to have fun and go create. You all warm my heart. Okay, guys? So, we are done. I'm going to put the fi my final painting on top of this to finish this out so you can see any of the other little details that I did and fill them in accordingly if you want to matchy-matchy up with my original. And there you go. Good night, Kim. Good night, sweetheart. So if you want to matchy-matchy with the original, there you go. There's all the little pieces. I showed you how to do all these little pieces. You guys are amazing. You can finish up, zone out, stop listening to my blabber. <laughs> do your own thing. <laughs> all right, how much blabber do you want to hear? <laughs> all right, so you guys can do your own thing. You guys got this. You can rock it. Good night, Margaret. Thank you so much for hanging out with me tonight. You need to do a jazz kid for your book. What does that mean, Nancy? Good night, Margaret. Good night, guys. Just message me, hon. I'll help you figure something out. I hope every single one of you went completely rogue on this painting, and I can't wait to see them. So, once I sign off, I'm going to uh, put the space to post your paintings. Okay, guys? So, post your paintings. I can't wait to see them on the event page, okay? I'll, I'll uh, put the spot in as soon as I log off here. Bye, Cheryl. Thanks.
thanks so much for hanging out with me tonight. Bye, sweetheart. Have a great evening. Love it. You guys are all zoning out on this painting. I, I like it. I like it a lot. Lots of zoning out. Lots of having just fun with the details. Bye, Magna. Thanks for painting with me, hon. Mwah. I'll see you soon, sweetheart. Enjoy your Father's Day. Hi, Wendy. <laughs> yep, you missed the whole thing. <laughs> I'm all finished up. That's what replays are for, Wendy. <laughs> it's all good. It's all good, sweetie. <laughs> Hello, and have a good night, sweetheart. <laughs> that was awesome. Okay, everybody, you all have an amazing evening. Thank you so much for joining me. You all warm my heart. Have fun. Go create. Good night, everybody.